Hello, it's Mary Beth, and I am going to make some Valentine's cards, and I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. Now, you know, pretty much before I do anything, I, um, I like to make papers and so forth, and I'm honestly not sure that I have a true idea of what I want, but I sort of, I don't know, you know, I get these ideas and then I need to see them through. So my idea right now is to do some kind of a patchwork Valentine. I need a couple cards. I need one for, well, my mom and dad. Then I need one for, um, for a trade we've got going on in club. And then, well, for my husband, I guess. <laughs> Listen, isn't that terrible? It's like you're close to the people that you're closest to. If you're a crafter, it seems like they hardly get anything anymore, <laughs> or at least that's the way it is in my world. And I'm poor guy. So yeah, I think I'll do one for John. Wouldn't that be nice? So right now, all I'm doing is I have these um, paper artsy fresco finish chalk acrylics. I love these things. They have been like my favorite art journal paints for years. And I I like them because, well, first of all, the colors are just fantastic. And um, I like them in my journal because they're um, chalk finished, so they're super matte. And I just thought that I had all these really pretty colors that I wanted to um, use for, for my Valentine's, so. And, um, I have some weird colors thrown in here, like this one is kind of a coral. Oh, it's called prawn. I guess it's the color of prawns. Um, but I like to shake it up because that's what I do. And I like to just mix things up. So I've got some things going on. All I did was I went through paper and I just got some little hunks of paper, tore them up, and put them on this pile. And as you can see, I am using a brayer with the paint and moving the paper around as I go. So now I'm going to get into using some stencils. This first one is a heart-shaped stencil. It's S, as in Sam, 006 by Margaret Applin. Really nice stencil, 006. You know, that's from the beginning years of Stencil Girl, right? Margaret. I don't even know what she's doing now. I, she doesn't really design for us anymore. And I always loved her work. And anyway, okay, so see how cool this looks when you kind of randomly stencil something over several pieces. So even though you don't get this true representation, it's also really pretty. And I like that. I am just dispensing my paint over here off camera and I'm picking it up with one of these um, makeup brushes that I like to stencil with. You can certainly use a sponge, another, you know, true stencil brush, whatever you want to do for this. And you know, as I said, I don't even know if this is going to work out right because I'm just wild and wooly right now. Wild and wooly. And that's the way we like it. <laughs> so I think the main thing I want to do is keep reorganizing the paper so that they look a little bit different every time. And I'm basically trying to get some, um, some color down in pretty ways and this stencil is real pretty for that because it has your little swooshes and flourishes and this and that and it's coming out quite pretty I think all right so I'm going to put that stencil aside and I'm going to get this stencil which is by Terry Stegmiller S is in Sam 231 and it has just these great stencil little openings on it. So you're getting more of the stencil shape here and there, which I like quite a bit. 
So again, I will keep moving this, the papers around. And get little bits and stencils here and there, which is very pretty. Okay. Boy, this one doesn't have much paint on it. I'm going to grab the brayer again and see if I can get some more paint on this one. And even when you go over top other parts that have been already, you know, already had some shapes on them, some heart shapes, it's still going to look quite interesting. All right. So I only have, I have, I picked five colors and I just want to give you an idea of what I picked. This is the lightest one. It's almost, um, you know, it's just kind of like a, very very light pink it is called sherbet and this is prawn byzantium lavender and bubblegum if you're looking for the exact colors that i got i do like to have a range of dark to light and I, I think it's easy to just go analogous. I mean, it's so easy. So I'm going to put this one aside. And this is another one by um, Margaret Applin. And this one has some botanical elements to it. I think it's very pretty as well. And it's certainly, it's botanical elements within a heart shape. And look how interesting and organic those come out. I, I really like that. I think they're super pretty. If you are trying to create your own kind of paper like this, it's nice to have a variety of bigger open spaces and smaller, more compact spaces, because that kind of variety is what's ultimately going to make the papers more interesting is when you have um, different sizes. And do stick to, I always think it's better, I said this before, but I'll say it again, to stick with a, um, an analogous color scheme because that does really, it works better. You don't have to worry about any muddiness if you do that. So now here's one. This is a big, this is a Terry Stegmiller S103. And it has a beautiful swoosh on the side, but then there's a little flower in the middle of it. But look at that prettiness there. Gosh, so pretty. Love that. And in fact, I'm going to do it over here. And you'll notice as I'm moving along and the pieces are getting more paint on them, I'm leaving some backgrounds here and there, as happens naturally because these are stencils. And so you know, when you're putting, you know, you lay this flower down and it blocks the paint. And that is nice because you get the little flower there. So you automatically save some whites, which, you know, gotta say one of my favorite things about stencils. Hello. Look at that. It almost looks like a curtain up there. So as you get the pages more like so-called complete, you can set them to the side if you want to, um, you know, call them done, certainly that's an option. Or you could just keep going as long as you want. I've got a couple more stencils I want to use here. And one is going to surprise you. So let's set this one to the side and I'll pull out the surprise stencil. So it's this Christmas stencil. It's by Jessica Sporn L205. But look at this, these little tiny hearts. I When I was looking through my stencil stash, I didn't see any other stencils that had anything like that, like those little tiny hearts. And I was like, oh, got to use it, got to use it. So yeah, even though it's a Christmas stencil, yeah, I'm using it. And look at that little 
all the hearts that it puts down on there. Oh, I really like that. That makes me so happy. I think I want a bunch of them on top of this like purple bit. So all you have to do is just be careful and not do it in the shape of the Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe you could if you're into a different sort of look, but I think that that's really fun. Cares that it comes from a Christmas tree stencil, right? So there you go. Cute, cute, cute. Let's There, I mean, you know, seriously, when taken out of context, you cannot tell where it's from or what this shape comes out of. I haven't added as much of the coral as I would like. So I'm going to finish this up and then I will come back and we'll do the next part. All right, I'm back. I finished my papers. They're all drying down. I'm going to move the paints over. I have changed my mind. What a stunning surprise this is because I found these cards and these were the only cards I have and they're really little they're little inky dinky cards so um I thought you know what I just want to do something really simple I googled printable heart templates and a bunch of them came up with little hearts of all sizes and I printed this one and I thought it would be cool to put four little hearts on the front of this card. And I've, you know, I've eyeballed it and it's going to fit. It's going to work. So here's what I'm going to do. The first thing I did was I um, held it up to the window and I traced the ones on the back. You know how you can hold it up to the window and you see the light through it. And then I traced it because I, I don't have a light box. So I want to put four on this. So I'm going to cut these out. Well, I'm just tearing them out. And I will show you what I have in mind. And this could not be easier. It's glue stick type stuff. Okay. So basically, I'm going to just start gluing down these parts that I've made. And I'm going to do them in kind of just, um, you know, I'm, I'm not, I should use my words, use your words, Mary Beth, in a very hodgepodgey way is what I'm going to do. And then I'm also going to throw in some other things, like I found this really cute um, sheer pink tissue and I also found some paint chips these are like mango size paint chips in um, some of the colors similar to what I'm using so if I need any like calm down type parts I can use these or I could maybe put this in the background I was thinking this could be pretty just on the front of it and put the parts on top you know it's a work in progress people as you know and I do believe I'm probably going to want a tiny bit of black and white and I'm going to wait and see how that goes so anyway let's just start gluing shall we okay I got the glue stick and I am going to just randomly start gluing some parts down on here and since I have my mark on the back I'll know where to trim it and that will be very very helpful because otherwise I would have no earthly idea where I wanted to trim it and so I thought that was not a bad idea right <laughs> for me anyway because I typically you know thinking stuff through on the fly which is pretty much how I work sometimes I come up with really stupid ideas and sometimes they just don't work so it's nice to um you know that I thought of that in advance for a change right I'm trying to vary up the colors so that these will be cute and different and I mean I hope they're going to look okay we'll see I can embellish them later with glitter or um you know like little gosh anything I want really you know how it is right 
could embellish with whatever you're in the mood to embellish with. I like that color very much, so I'm going to just put it right there. And I hope, you know, the person that I got in the, um, the club exchange doesn't watch this because that would really suck if she watched this and saw what I was making before I sent it, right? That would be so silly. So I don't know. We shall wait and see and keep our fingers crossed. I do like the fact that I included some of this like craft kind of paper in here. It makes it quite interesting, I think. I think I might go and pull some of my, um, I have some sheer lacy papers too, and I think those would be so pretty, you know, collaged in. But right now I've got to cut out the first heart because I can never wait, right? Are you like that? I got to see, okay, is my idea going to work? Is this going to look like anything? You know, I always love making little hearts and gluing them on stuff. I did this for my parents one year uh, for their card. And, of course, all the hearts fell off the card in the mail, and which my mom had to announce to me. Well, we got a card from you, and in the bottom of the envelope were all these little hearts. So, I mean, look how cute it is, right? Where'd that card go? Let's take a look. I did wash my hands in between because, you know, you need to do that too. I'm thinking I might want this on the background because it would be pretty, and then put just the four little hearts. So it's going to be like a little Andy Warhol visits hearts. <laughs> So that's one design that I have going. I'm still going to keep going with different designs. I love the idea of being able to get these heart templates on online. Truly, people, it's the bomb. So um, I am going to just keep working on this. And if I come up with a new idea, I'll be back at you. But otherwise, I'll come back here and post the finished ones so you can see them. Okay, I have finished the first card. I went a little bit wild. You know, I was a card maker, oh my God, 30 years ago. And I wasn't even a good card maker when I was a card maker. And I'm really not a good card maker now. But anyway, here's what I did. I put the tissue, the pink tissue down. And then I got a piece of a little lacy. And it just was like too much same, same color. So I put some eye zinc um, diamond on it. I just rubbed it on there with my finger, which is why it's still on my finger. Then I decided to emboss the edges of the little hearts. So I ran some Versamark around the edges and sprinkled them with fluorescent pink embossing powder and embossed them. Didn't make them pop enough, glued them down, decided to add some eye zinc hearts on the top, and here it is. I do think it's kind of cute. It's maybe not exactly me, but it is kind of cute. I glued this all together with this little glue tape, glue tape runner thing that I got at um, STL Art Supply. It's on this messy, insanely messy desk. Here it is. Look at it. It's a little baby one. It's just adorable. So anyway, go make Valentine's. It's really fun. I'm going to make some more right now. Take care.